Hold on, hold on. You can break your dick masturbating? Yeah. How? And be specific. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor Walls, Brea, California, OC. Brea, California, May 12th through May 13th. Four shows. Friday, Saturday. Pull up TrevorWallsComedy.com. More tour dates coming soon. Michael Blaustein. Michael Blaustein, this weekend I'm going to be in Richmond, Virginia, April 14th to the 15th. I think two of those shows are already sold out, so you only have two more to go. So, go get tickets before you can. May 5th to the 6th, I'll be in Des Moines, Iowa. May 19th to the 20th, I'll be in Omaha, Nebraska. June 2nd to the 3rd, I'll be in Toledo, Ohio. June 23rd to the 24th, I'll be in San Francisco. July 6th to the 9th, I'll be in Washington, D.C. And a massive announcement. Some of you know, some of you don't. I'm going to do freaking Wilbur Theater, October Boston. 20th. 21st in Boston. Uh, about 70% of the rooms already sold out. So go get tickets before you can't. This is the biggest theater I've ever done. Please go get tickets. Please. Guys, the blowcomedy.com, blowcomedy.com. On to the episode. How are we here in technology where what? my voice mailbox gets full, but I can get sucked off by chat GBT of Mark Zuckerberg singing in French? Does Mark Zuckerberg, has he ever had sex? Boy, does he. No. He got that zuck and that suck. Does he? Oh, I think he could suck his own dick. If anybody could, I, I believe so. I think he practiced. Who removed their own ribs? Uh, Marilyn Manson, apparently, allegedly. God. Yeah. He should have done a collab with McDonald's. The McRib is back. Or not God, back. God, I'm trying to suck myself. Yeah, you could. I mean, everybody's tried. How old do you think you were when you I've first tried to suck? I've actually never tried. I've actually never tried. Maybe I You've could. You've tried to put a foot in your mouth, though, your own, right? No. You've never tried to suck I've never off? sucked my own foot. Really? You've never been, like, trying your shoes and been like, what if? No, because my feet, I don't, they're like no, 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 they're not, dude feet. No, not your feet, but like oh. you've never been like down here like tying a Skechers and been like, oh, oddly close to your penis. Oh, to my penis. Uh, you've never tried to suck your own dick? Not I've like never. Not like fucking lubed up and like dim the lights and put on some Marvin Gaye. Now I'm I feel like you have. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, true. Haven't everybody's. You, haven't you done the thing where, you, you know, you get on your, you lay down on your back completely naked on this your floor good. and yep. you lift your legs up above you here we and go. you try to Wait. just get into like a reverse Reverse, reverse. Uh, somersault, and you just like reverse. What somersault. in the Russian gymnast are you talking about? Yeah, what it's are you doing? To, the YMCA? What's happening? No, it's not hard to show, this, camera, no, like, not hard to show just, this. I'm hard while you're showing me this. You kind of uh, you use your momentum and you try to like push yourself towards. So your you've pelvis. definitely done this. I mean, I wasn't successful. I tried. Yeah, every well, you, everyone's like you kind of get. I mean, let's all do it. It's a group fucking. Yeah, we understand. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Yeah. Exhale. Oh. I mean, yeah. Exactly. It's, really. It's like. Well, that's. It's like this. Well, you're trying to bring your you're trying dick to get to your ass head. eaten. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to bring our head to our dick. Yeah. Oh, bars. Oh, wow, different. That's different. Yeah, yeah. I've never. I've never tried. You would think that I like tried and probably did yoga to accomplish that, but I never. I've never tried. You can't. The body did on purpose. I had a bunk bed until I was 16. So I, I would, love this all already. Right, we'll, we'll stop <laughs> that. I love this right already. <laughs> bunk bed until you're 16. Who was up top? <laughs> no one. No one. What the fuck? Why would there be no one? Why I take the roof off and make it a bed. Yeah, or <laughs> sleep on the top bunk, and make the the bottom part like a little jerk off den. Yeah, well, yeah I, that's what I would the do. The jack shack. I would put my feet on the top of the bunk bed. I would lay on the bottom. What one. the fuck? Why? And so it was support, so I could get support. My head oh, to did you suck your own dick? Yeah. Oh, I got close. I, Whoa! I you you said yeah for yeah, a second. Yeah, you said yeah. Got, what happened? Like, the room was dark, and you got a little yeah, glimpse of your thumb. Like, oh yeah. fuck! <laughs> did you? Did you? Little tongue. No, just you licked it. I could get like the the whole. With my tongue. So really? That's, that's actually impressive. Are you that, how you've never in a bunk sick. bed? Yeah. Yeah. Because put, I would put my you feet put your up. feet up there. So you're pretty flexible, huh? So nobody yeah, was on the bunk bed. Why did you have a bunk bed? Because uh, my brother moved to a different room. <laughs> yeah, you're you're suck suck you suck yourself up. <laughs> I mean, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> hey, mom, can I get a new room? Jack's over there <laughs> sucking himself off. I dude. mean, they literally named you Jack. They knew. As soon as you came into your mom's drawing, they're like, all right, this guy's going to jack. Jack. That's hilarious. That's fucking Oh, no, crazy. brother. What are you doing down there? <laughs> your Nintendo DS is not plugged in. What's happening? Oh. I mean, dude, I would. Uh, so, so you did or did not? No, I couldn't suck it. How, how big <laughs> I, could, I could lick it. <laughs> Motherfucker, Tootsie Pop Owl over here is sucking himself off. Yeah, I could lizard my dick. Could you lizard your dick until you come? came? What's we had to be erect for this. We soft up. No, it's it's literally like a like a poke it. I could poke it. Oh, with yeah, I, what there's the no fuck? way I get even fucking close. Do you think you have a big hog, or do you think you're flexible, or a combination of both? That is true. The big hog weighs in on this. <sighs> yeah, I mean that's like there's no I, there's no way. I'm, I'm yeah, not but even sometimes close. it's like they just you know where you lean over wouldn't even. You'd have to. 
Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, what, about what it that a faulty, much. what a faulty design. If if the universe made no, us it's be not a faulty. Sucker it's a good dick. design because if we could, we would just all roly poly each other and just never <laughs> talk to another human being again. I would never roly poly is definitely be top. A hundred percent. Imagine you're hiding in the dark and you're just staring your own dick. Oh, what's gonna happen now? <laughs> what's gonna happen now? Would you come in your mouth? Long pause. I would ejaculate. No. I would fucking no. fire hose no. in my own I would own open up throat. like a pokeball and I'd just... <laughs> no. <laughs> I would let the world... They'd be like, what are you doing in there, Trev? What are you doing in there? Open up, open up. <laughs> oh, dude. Are, so pokeballs just... Like, you, know that in, you know in Halo when they have that yeah. gun that builds up? Uh -huh. I would release nut like that after. So you would just go like this and it would just go everywhere? Probably. Would you come in your own mouth, Gabe? Yeah. Yeah, of course. What would you, Jack? Fuck? I don't think so. I don't have I a good enough diet to do that. I know what I eat. Wouldn't taste good. Right. Nah, I would, I would swallow. Dude, the cleanup is so easy. Oh, stiff socks. Too fuck weird. you. Right down my goddamn gullet. <laughs> 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 What's the bird that has that fucking... Oh, yeah. Was <laughs> uh, that a pelican? I think it might be. Yeah, yeah. Dude, imagine if they called you pelican head back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine you suck so much dick, your gullet... Which is gushered out. <laughs> Hold on. Do you have that thing so they can they can fish, right? They hold fish. Meal prep. That's it, the original meal prep. Does it swim around? God damn. You could chug a monster out Holy of that bitch. Holy shit. I mean, dude. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? He's a know, sleeping bag on his throat. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, but that's the carry fish. It's so funny yeah, how animals have carry like... fish. <laughs> <laughs> so funny how animals have like... One thing, like that is for that. Yeah. Like they just come with that. What the fuck? How do we go from apes to this? Does anyone know? Motherfuckers out here saying we, we ate mushrooms and our brain grew twice as big or whatever the heck and now we're this. Really? Yeah. I've heard that theory, yeah. It's mushrooms? called the stoned ape theory. Mm -hmm. This is a stupid NFT project. You don't give a fuck. It's not, dude. That's what Board happened. apes, what? That's what happened. Fucking what happened? Bonobos ate goddamn, uh, uh, Magic what are they mushrooms. called? Magic mushrooms. Yeah. And then, by the way, guys, can we really do, can we do mushrooms on the show? I'm like, sure. I, I need a different experience. I'm lonely. I don't, I have no direction. I don't know what's happening. I need to do something different. Dude, I, I literally got back from the road on, what is, what is today, Tuesday? I got back from the road on Monday. I'm sorry, Sunday late. And I was like, you know what, dude? On Monday, I'm going to have a fucking me day. I haven't had a me day in forever. Of course. Oh, dude, I woke up kind of early. I took Gigi on like a six mile hike. Came so much sun, got a goddamn. Oh, by the way, I ordered Outback at like nine thirty p.m. <laughs> in Los Angeles. <laughs> in in Los on, Angeles on Sunday, where I got there back. is so much food. Uh, where well, even is an Outback Steakhouse? I don't even know. You had to go from Van Nuys to it, get that. Here's the thing: it took a while for them. It, it was in like Burbank or something. I don't know. But why here's the, the fuck? What did you get? Here's the funny thing: is I on Sunday when I got back, I'm like, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a nice meal, man. You deserve it. You have five Dude, fucking what shows. What would you? Oh my god! So, you'd have the easiest death row meal ever. Outback Steakhouse, yeah, hilarious. I would have steak. I would have IHOP steak tips and, and eggs and a short stack of pancakes. And that's why you'd Extra be in an electrical butter. chair because that's your last meal. <laughs> like, you belong here. <laughs> um. <clears throat> anyways, but Outback Steakhouse, right? So, but I ordered Outback Steakhouse, but I was like, I had the same thought. I was like, come on, Michael, don't don't be cheap, dude. This is like your celebratory meal, your home. <laughs> That's your, your celebratory home. I know, meal. I know, I know, I know. But I'm like, I'm like, dude, you're home. It's okay, man. Your shows are good. Let's let's have a celebratory meal. So I'm like, oh, I'll get a steak. I don't want. You're telling me you sold out five shows in Buffalo, <laughs> and you came home, and your celebratory meal was Outback Steakhouse. Get a better vision board. What the <laughs> fuck are you, dude? You're in literally like the hub of great food. I know. Walk down the street. I know. Get a fucking <clears throat> Boa Steakhouse to top you off. Well, that's interesting that you say that. Cause in my head, I'm like, bro, I, you know, after fucking five shows and travel, I'm done. I don't want to leave my house. I finally got home. I'm like, I'm not fucking driving anywhere. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna DoorDash some food. I know it's not the best idea to DoorDash steak, but I'm like, it's, 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 whatever. It's I want a steak, right? It's so, hilarious. So I looked it out back and I look at the prices and I'm like, all right, a little steep, but you know that it's fine, right? I swear to God. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. Dude, I actually, I know how much money you make. This is hilarious. I to know, me. I know, I know. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I actually thought of all of you guys. I'm like, I can't, I can't do Outback. It's a funnier story to get Outback. Well, than to have like a good steak. Well, here's the thing, though. I go all of that to my brain, right? I go, but Michael, come on, man, celebratory meal. And let's look at the next thing, which is Boa Steakhouse. For those of you who don't know, it's a pretty expensive steak. It's a pretty nice steakhouse. It's influencer heaven, yeah. Yeah. So I look at Boa and I go, yeah. Come on, man. You deserve Boa. Five shows sold out. Let's do it. So I look at yep. Boa prices 
And I go, no. Nah. No, I... Bro, I, there's no fucking... Maybe if I was there, but I'm not door-dashing right. steak no, for I that expense. It was crazy. I totally get it. It's just funny to hear Outback was how you celebrate. I know. You know? It well, also I looks got, like on my Google, it looks like you probably got Outback from that Outback in Northridge. So I don't imagine that that... Oh, it was... I'm going to be honest. Can I tell you a secret? shit entered the car medium rare, and that bitch showed up well done. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It came, and all of it was cold. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what I did with my fucking ribeye steak? I put it in the microwave. No. God, that's hilarious. 20 seconds. And I didn't do your dumbass ad 30. I hit 20 seconds start like an adult. And I ate a fucking steak with ketchup. And But here's the thing. I got a side of shrimp. And the shrimp was so cold. <laughs> it was literally like I could put it in my lemonade and make it colder. Like it was bad. <sighs> It was bad. The only, and then I looked at the bread. And I was like, "Yeah, Rogan wouldn't eat the bread, so I didn't eat the bread." And I had a, I had a Caesar salad. That was really good because it was freezing. Yeah, <laughs> but, but yeah, it's just so funny the reward. I mean, here's the thing. I agree because like I'm yeah. a guy that like if I look at all the Postmates and all the different shit, I see Jersey Mike's on there. I'm like, "Come here, number thirteen. You're getting piped down." Yeah, yeah. I got an extra layer of meat for that Italian sub. It's my cock. Huh? Okay. So I hear you. It's all faithful. You know what you're getting. <laughs> yeah. Because if you paid more for like a nice steak and you post it, it shows up and it's fine. You're like, oh man, all the money wasted. Yeah. Outback, you know what you're getting. That and neglect. So you're yes. getting a steak and just um, so so walk me through. You get the steak, you order it. <laughs> and I'm good? excited. I'm excited. It course. comes. It's cold. I put it in the microwave for 20 seconds. It's not. Listen. It's not bad. It tasted good. It's just it tasted like it's been in plastic for 25 minutes while the guy's driving it to me. Yeah. Um, uh, by the way, he didn't hand it to me. I was like, I was like, yeah, it's uh, for me, man. He goes, what's your name? Holds the bag close to his thing. I go, Michael. He goes, one second. Takes out his phone, looks, hands to me. Hey, man, this is not fucking nuclear codes. Give me my goddamn fucking steak. Yeah, well, here's the thing about Outback Steakhouse. A lot of felons order it. 100%. <laughs> so he's making sure that you're not like IRS. <laughs> he wasn't even checking the Postmates app. He was checking like Megan's Law to be like, is this guy normal or not? <laughs> Damn. Hoo Choo Blue Hoo Choo. Choo. What is it, Michael Blaustein? I mean, listen, sometimes you want to get your cock hard, and sometimes, sometimes you want well, that's what's going to go. Most so, times. Most times you always want your cock hard, and this is what you freaking take to get it rocked up. It's okay, a it's chewable same, tablet same with active ingredients as Cialis and Viagra, and it comes in discreet packaging, so you don't got to go to the freaking Rite Aid or CVS and be like, hey, my dick is not working. You don't have to do any of that. Yeah. Comes right to your doorstep. And it's freaking free. How much is it, dude? It's free. But I will say you just pay what? for the first, you know, for shipping. Five bucks. That's the price of a Little Caesars pizza. What do you want? Hard pizza or hard cock? Both. But hold on. I have a thing. Uh well, listen, dude, I'm only twenty three years old. I don't I don't have problems getting hard. Well, let me ask you this. What, dude? How's that round two? Real, real soft. You know what rhymes with round two? Blue chew. I mean they're hand in hand, like my dick in my hand. Oh, another one. God. DJ Khaled. All right, so. He doesn't go down on women, but you can after eating Blue, Blue Chew. Chew. The chewable tablet you're going to know, like, share, and subscribe, and love. Okay. Anyways, if you want to try that today, we have a special deal for our listeners. Uh -oh. Try Blue Chew for free. When you use promo code SOCKS. SOCKS. S-O-C-K-S at checkout and just pay $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. Uh, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. We thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Boop, that was pretty good. That was like yeah. the commercial reads. Honestly, really good. I'm Maybe. good at reading. God damn. <laughs> so I eat it. It's fine. I walked. Did I you, get watched, a you didn't get a Bloomin' Onion. I know. I was just going to say that I didn't get it. Do you know how bad a Bloomin' Onion would have been? 30 minutes after after oh, it's out of the air dude, fryer. Nah, it would have been good. It would have looked like Chucky's hair. Like, it would have looked oh, like 100%. Shit. You got to get that bitch crispy. Did Chucky have a girlfriend? Chucky? Yeah. Maybe that's what he was doing. He's trying to walk around just getting vagina. He just never found it. He started killing people. I think Chucky's like a child, right? Oh. Yeah, but he has, a, he has a wife. There's a whole, like, Chucky's Chucky? wife. Chucky? Yeah. Chucky's got a wife? Is she bad? Bride of Chucky. It was a whole movie. There we go. Bride of Chucky. Bring How are you going to marry someone? Uh, what? Well... Honestly, this is, looks like something Michael would date. One hundred percent. This looks like something Michael would meet at a, at a flea market on Melrose and be like, dude, I fell in love. I'm being honest. That first one in the wedding yeah. dress, she's bad. That no, one? That's a fucking child. No, it's not. Oh, she got a tattoo of Chucky? Good for her. Bro. What a freaking whore. I love it. Good for her. <laughs> Look at her. You don't think she could have piped down a fucking blooming anything through her asshole? Look at her. Wow. Yeah. That she, is... She can, she can suck her own dick. That's disturbing. <laughs> that is? Yeah. 
Really? The eyelashes are so thin. Yeah, but that's that's the new thing. They're going that's from bushy new. to thin. No, I think bushy's in. A lot no, of girls bushy's will, out. No, 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 no. A lot of girls will spike their eyelashes up. I hate it. What is this, Jonathan Taylor Thomas in the 90s haircut? Well, no, it's it's like spiked up. I think it looks... Sir. I would prefer that over the bleached eye. You ever seen oh, the bleached eyebrows? Well, the bleached eyebrows, you're an alien. You have bleached hair. I do, but my eyebrows aren't. Should have done it. Should have not done it. Mm. Anyway, so my Monday, so I wake up and I go, Michael, you're not doing, I, on purpose, I didn't put any veils anywhere. I'm not doing Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, no shows. Fucking taking off. I'm a guy that I'm going to blow my brains out. Too much comedy. Don't want to do it. So I go, yeah. okay, Monday, you're having a day, okay? Which was yesterday. This was, yeah, correct. No editing. Well, since I did editing, but I was like, I have a day. Is that funny? You're like, I'm going to have a day. Oh, it's 4 p.m. Oh, fuck. Now it's sick. All right. <laughs> I know. I know. So I go on the hike. What are So I hike? Good oh, hike? Just Runyon, but I did the... Do you know the, the second entrance of Runyon? Uh, you, I've heard of it. Yeah, so the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's like a main one, but a second one. The second one's the like harder. The main one's hilarious. The it's main like one's four steps, funny. and yeah. then just like somebody with a ring light and their dog, and the dog's like, walk me! And they're like, shut up, I need this boomerang. Yeah, shut up, I need to get 12 views. Yeah, Fit Tummy T. Where did they go? Did they just bag out and run to the Cayman Islands? 100%. All of it's fake. Th that stuff made you shit? Did it? Oh, yeah, I think, I think so. that was the whole premise. Yeah. Like, mm. you want to you lose weight? Cool, shit. Anyway, so I did the running and it felt did the running, Jesus. So I did running and came back, felt great. And then I was like, you know what's next, dude? I'm gonna get a fucking massage. Oh yeah, those are yeah. great. Oh, so I got a massage. I set it for eight p.m. Okay, what? yeah. Where? Well, because I wanted are to you work. getting a massage at eight p.m. Well, that's where my story's going. So I wanted, I wanted to work out. You know what I mean? And then go to the massage. Yeah. So like, All right, cool. So I set it for eight p.m. And I've been to this place before. Gentleman's name's Moon. Gentleman. Yeah. Oh, I do dudes. All right. <laughs> Listen, I like women, but sometimes y'all got... who doesn't like women. <laughs> Listen, no. I like women. <laughs> I like women. Uh, masseuse, they're great. Outback Steakhouse getting fucking topped off by Moon. What's going on with you, man? <laughs> so, but my thing is, I've I've gotten like four massages in my life, two women, two men, and both women, they had like, you know, little uh, feeble hands, if I, I will say so myself. Really? They be fucking me up. Dude. Well, because you're a bitch. Hold up, I'm hard. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. It didn't. There it is. I wanted, hold on. I wanted, that's what I wanted. Um, no, but I hear you. Because where I'm going is, so I went in there and all of a sudden they pushed my shit back 30 minutes. And then I'm like walking in there at 8.30. 8.30, that's a time where the sun is down and your pants are also down. Down, I know. I walk in there and it, it has a different feel from the left. Because I went there before the pandemic. Now this is post-pandemic massage parlor. I don't know what's happening. No one's there. Zero people. Yeah. There's like four people work there. I walk in and I'm going to be honest. I don't want to get jerked off. This is not... I just don't want that experience. So I walk in with Moon and uh, <laughs> yeah. And he's, he's... Picture a gentleman named Moon that works in a massage parlor. Exactly. Yep. That's exactly who he mm -hmm. is. Super nice. And uh, he proceeds <clears throat> to oil me down and give me one of the best massages of my life. Here's the thing. That was the back one. That was the back one. <laughs> then, then he flipped. He was that. Uh, you want the full moon? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no half moon tonight. So he goes. Oh, I, I'm familiar with the massage works. He yeah. flips you on so over. He, so he flips griddle, me griddle, over. Griddle, griddle, griddle. Cat in the fiddle. So he flips me over. And my first thought is, don't, don't, don't. I just want to... Dude, I just, he's a professional. He knows what I, he's doing. I know. But I he know. also saw the blonde hair. And it's like, I know. He's like, maybe I can get an extra... That's $20. So, um, the, I, I want... I, this story is very anticlimactic, but uh, but he was doing... Dude, he interlocked my hands. We had... You ever have a moment with a masseuse? Like I, I, Like, I was him and he was me. It was this... Like this moment we had, he was, do you, do they crack your knuckles? You got a mas massage where they crack your knuckles? Anybody? Bro, they're just doing shit to kill time at that <laughs> point. <laughs> you mean this? Oh! No, I no, can no. do that for, I was impressed no, that I just That wasn't really impressive. But no, no I, I, dude, I, I just lay there. I'm just like, I am your bop it. Fuck me up. Twist yeah. me, pull me, suck me. Do whatever you need to do to me. Like, I just lay there just fucking knocked out, you know? And they just, I just go with it. But yeah, when they're, what I, I trust whatever. You're rubbing on my earlobe. Yeah, I was like, he yeah, I, I have been tense up there. He did. He rubbed on my earlobe. Yeah. He gave me a head massage. Dude, he was. What? Head. He gave me head. 
Head massage is just a blowjob. <laughs> was it? A head massage is just a blowjob. You're getting. I will say when they like start doing stuff to the scalp, I love the face stuff. Oh, me it's too. The best. The face stuff. So. You go ahead. Have you ever had one of those the metal things that go in your oh, head? Oh, yeah. You, what, you know what's what? bullshit? You can't do it to yourself. Somebody no. has to do it. Like, it still feels good, but it's better when somebody else does it to you. Like, you can't just be in the 405 traffic doing this to you. <laughs> but if somebody else does it to you, it's, like, disconnected. <clears throat> it's like getting jerked off. So, that's very true. Yep. Would you rather someone jerk you off or you jerk yourself off? Me. Yeah, me. Yeah. I'm this is so, my car. I know how to drive it. I'm so good. I know what gear I perform best in. I know third. I know exactly what I. I know how I want my in. AC on, where the mirrors are, because that's what I get to, to myself. But I can't top myself off. He can. So <laughs> if some, so if if Shoddy can do it, by all means, I can't do it. You can do it better than I can. That I know of. Yeah, I I will say though, you run into a you run into an old uh, an old harlot of a woman. That knows how to give you the old J O. Yeah. I'll marry you. I'm telling you, I've said this a hundred times on podcast. It's very underrated. I'd rather get a good hand job than head. Oh no! Did Michael say something that everyone hates? I don't give a shit. I'd rather get a good jerk off than head any day of the week. Fight me, anyone? Wrong. Fight me, Wrong. Gabe. Yeah, I you mean, that, but that's it's two different things. <laughs> I don't like. Do you go straight from handy to fucking? Like that feels Sometimes. weird. That feels like you're just skipping second base. Sometimes. Like you're just stealing first to third. You're running past the pitcher. You ever just put it in? Well, I mean, if you're like in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> My outback steak has yes, some here. <laughs> well, literally, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's always. A, it's not. It's, I guess it's not weird, but it's like I, I think it's kind of hot when it's like ah, there's no time for foreplay. Yeah. Ah. Right. Oh God, damn it. Sex oh. is so good. <laughs> it's so good. Why did everyone make it like that? Why did they make it like I feel like you're like overcompensating that? for your sensual massage with Moon. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, dude, fucking is so tight. Dude, listen. You ever seen a titty before? I wish Moon would have topped me off so I had a better story. Yeah, no. But what, I mean, dude, but I guess what I'm going to. So wait, was, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Is Finish off your day. How, so, so. Where's there was, there was, a, there was a part. There was a part in the massage where when I was on my back. Yep. And he took the covers and he tucked them into my underoos. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. And when he did that, you know, he's about three inches away from the old C O C K. And I had that moment where I go, Oh, now I understand how this happened. Because I've never been jerked off in a massage parlor. But I go, oh, now I see. Because at that moment, when you're that relaxed, you got essential oils going, you got fucking flute music, you got a goddamn yeah. waterfall happening. Mm -hmm. I'll get jerked off by a fucking Rottweiler. Who gives a shit at that moment? <laughs> I am loose. Yeah. What did I say? Something about the ambiance, you know? <laughs> it's so Something nice. running water where you're like, anybody can touch me. Dude, what is it? Do you like, I'm, I was going to order a running water thing. What are they called? Fountains? One of those, one of those. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you what. I had one in my Santa Monica apartment like five oh. years ago because I thought it'd be zen. You forget to refill it every day. Uh, and then like the you water. Why refill it? Because the water evaporates. Fucking water cycle. Dumb. But, but I will say, falling asleep to it, you're like, I'm God. But also, you now you can just go on YouTube and type in like literally anything. And be like, a running water sound. And it's just a man paying for 10 hours. God. There's so many of those. Dude, there's, there, I have a TV screen above my laptop uh, where I edit. And I'll go on YouTube and I'll type in white screen. And it's like 10 hours of a white screen. And that is like a natural nightlight. Yeah. For oh, anything. That sometimes, yeah. It's like, really? Mm -hmm. but, but the thing is, it has, they have an ad up front. And then they probably put one in at some point, another one. But it has like 2.7 million views. I'm like, motherfuckers are clocking out with racks for putting up white. Put it on YouTube. There's every color. There's gray. There's like there's like a fake ring light on YouTube. It's just but so like what anything. Is it, but what is it for? I guess that light? adding ambiance to a room. Yeah, like or it's get, like if you need like where oh. where my desk is positioned. I'm not by a window, so like yeah, if I'm yeah. like a Zoom call or something. It's just like a big softbox. Yeah, it's nice. It's like oh, a softbox. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is nice. That. Or you can do like uh, there's like kind of just like like light colors, like maybe like pinks or something like like mood tones and kind of just like if you're editing it's late at night it's like you want like some light yeah. but not all the lights on oh it's kind fuck. of interesting think about yeah. this one's uh 10 hours worth 30 million views and it's monetized it's and, and they have so many of them yeah um i want to do one of those but halfway through just start swinging my dick around like a lasso for about four seconds and then go right back to it <laughs> is that illegal who knows you know what i mean yeah. depends on what state you are isn't that funny that Vermont. one state one state legal 
and you cross the border, they go illegal. That's crazy. And then you go the federal law. And everything's it, but then why it's is nothing in the ocean? There's like no rules, right? Yeah, that's hilarious. Four miles out, you can you can fuck a gogur. It doesn't even matter. <sighs> is that illegal? What's what can you not <laughs> like a pumpkin? Fine, right? Is it? Well, I mean, I guess you like I don't know. It depends on whose pumpkin it is. They're honestly kind of heavy. Right? Yeah. If it's your neighbor's pumpkin, yeah. can you not? <clears throat> pumpkin smashing's bullshit. You spent, yeah, dude, you spent fucking six I think hours. you do the day after Halloween. Who gives a shit? Yeah, but you don't know. What if you want to go take <laughs> it, it to a museum? A f- I've never done it, but I feel no. like the, that's like the same feeling our parents used to get when they tip a cow over. No rhyme or reason. You're just like, I'm a human. <laughs> you might. Dude, my dad used to, did I tell you this? They used to catch fish, put M80s in their mouth, yes. and blow them up. Wild. <laughs> Wild. Ohio shit, baby. Yeah, that's crazy. Toledo, Ohio. Blow a fish up. Trout, good night. <laughs> God damn. Hello. Hello, it's fresh. It's fresh? Let me in. I come in, dude. Dude, look, it's America's number one meal kit. It's Hello Fresh. What's number two? Who cares? Hello Fresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasoned recipes delivered right to your freaking doorstep, dude. Skip trips to the grocery store. Boo! Groceries are horrible. And count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why. We love HelloFresh. I love it, dude. It's great for date night. It's great because if you're alone, yep. us, us, you can cook sad. it, and now you have leftovers <laughs> for the next day. But what I love is the pre-proportioned ingredients, because like half the time, they're like, oh, you just need a quarter tablespoon of paprika. And instead of going to Ralph's and buying a kilo of paps, yep. dude, they just send it to you in a pack. Everything is pre-portioned. You don't even need goddamn cups, measuring... Uh, straws? Uh, straws. Measuring cups. straws. Cups? Measuring straws? The measuring Who's spoons? measuring with straws? Huh? <laughs> Hello Fresh. <laughs> but dude, it's great if you're on the go uh and you and you want just like to think less, do more. Every meal that I've ever made with Hello Fresh, they're honestly sensational. They're good. It's not like peanut butter and jelly no. and yogurt. It's like, you know, Cajun freaking b- Something tells me you've t- made peanut butter and yogurt before. Yup. I made it yeah. literally this dude, morning. This one Hold on. This Maybe one we'll has it. phenomenal meals, dude. You do like falafel power bowls. Uh, you got fresh pineapple chicken tacos. Like, oh. dude, it's more spice that you'll ever think you'll need in your life. It Bars, is phenomenal. Trade market. Oh, uh, so, so go to HelloFresh.com slash socks50 and use code socks50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. So, Bro. dude, 50% huh. off and your first box ships free? Yup. And how do they, what's, what's the promo code? Socks50 for 50% off at yep. HelloFresh.com? HelloFresh.com slash socks50 and use code socks50 for 50% off plus your first box free. Holy Toledo. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. God damn. Dude, I was driving to a show. On Saturday, Cal State San Marcos, honestly a great time. And we're driving there, all of a sudden the freeway stops. Uh oh. Right? Cops do a little, right? Stops. And they stop on the other side. And I go, okay, there's something going on on both sides. We're sitting there, freeway's backed up, backed up, backed up. And I look on a bridge and I go, oh shit, there's a man on the bridge. A man is about to jump. And cops are there, and here's, I don't know what it is about when freeways stop, everybody gets out of their car. Every, and everybody's on, like, like Facebook Live and Instagram. People in the far, we were one car behind the first car that stopped, so we're like, we can see what's going on. Yeah. This man did not jump, I will say this, they got him down safely. But there's something... Nah, that's bullshit. If you're gonna fucking back up traffic, jump. Honestly, don't fuck, honestly, don't, honestly... Real talk, don't fuck... Don't be like, ooh, psych. Honestly. You made me wait for two hours <laughs> so you can fake jump? But hear me Commit. out. Commit. Hear me out. First of all, the bridge wasn't big enough. You literally would have been like, mm, my ACL. Like, he would have been <laughs> chilling. Can you imagine? But the man lived, and I'm not, and I'm, I'm glad of that. But oh, yeah, of course. But we're in the front row. We see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. But there's, like, miles behind us that don't know. I look behind me, maybe, like, ten rows, and there's kids just filming TikToks. Could you imagine being on a bridge, <laughs> the lowest moment of your life, and you pick your head up and you see somebody 30 cars down just doing, <laughs> <laughs> dude, like dude. if the last thing you see before you jump is the renegade. Wait, how did you not <laughs> jump? I mean, dude, they, they like. I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. Because ah! <laughs> I ain't never been with a, yeah, dude, it, it just like, 
everybody had their phones out and they're like filming stuff. Yeah. And then when I look back and there's people literally just doing like dances <laughs> together. Oh my God. I was like, please, can somebody just like send out a message to everybody? Like, hey, this Can't. is serious. Yeah. Do not start bringing out the ring lights. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> seeing that made me realize that like nothing in this life is serious. Nothing matters. A man was at the lowest point of his life and people are like, content? I've always wanted to make a TikTok on the 405. What if he was making a TikTok? What if he was doing a YouTube prank? By the way, these YouTube pranks are going out of fucking control. They haven't like two YouTubers been shot recently? Yeah. Can we see what that was mm -hmm. about? I do, mean, it's a, do people are on edge. Like those, I think, well, here's where I think people fuck up. A majority of them, kind of like the Vitaly and like, uh, like Fousey 2 back in the day, I believe, don't quote me, I believe were scripted and they had actors. I think where people are fucking up is they're trying to do it <clears throat> real. They're trying to fuck with somebody. And if you're coming out of a pandemic, everybody's on edge. Dude, also, like, there, there's, like, there's like lines. I, I think they think that if there's a camera involved, they go, oh, no, 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 I'm just filming. Yeah, like, well, they think that's, that's going to that, be the buffer where I don't beat your ass. That feels like the, all right, cameras are up. There's, <laughs> there it is. Like, because yeah. on Punk's back in the day, you were on an episode, on Punk back in the day, they'd be like, all right, bring out Ashton Kutcher. And the second they saw Ashton and the cameras, they'd be like, <clears> oh, that's what I think these YouTubers think it is. Right, but, but it's, it's like, but it's like, just because you have a camera, you still slap my girlfriend's ass. Right, but also, I'll like, kill you. <laughs> right, but back then there was one place for pranks, and it was MTV, and it was Ashton Kutcher. But now it's like everybody's making pranks. So if some kid has you know ten thousand followers on YouTube and he goes, yeah. "It's a prank," it's like I don't know you. You would have to be like a big, you'd have to be like recognizable by the yeah. person to be like, "Oh, dude, it's yo, it's that guy from that channel." Pranks yeah. are us, whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Prank channels. I mean, it's just like there's no sustainability. It's there's no sustainability. There's no sustainability. I, th I think there's also no creativity. And I think like well, you're relying on somebody else's reaction for the content. Right. But it's like you wonder why you get punched in the face. It's like you hit me in the ear with a two by four in Home Depot, and you're yeah. like, oh, we're just joking. They're, those always you really still hit me in the head. Well, it's like you're agitating somebody. And you don't know what's going on in their life, and then they break, and then that's like what you want. It's like yeah. Im imagine, just I don't even I, I don't know the, the those videos like where somebody will throw like a bucket of rice in a Home Depot and it lands on a guy. That's if a dude is at Home Depot, he's already not doing well with his family. He's trying to so get he, away from his family. <laughs> right. It's his only. It's his only place. Yeah. We, it's like it's like it's like church for him. Dude, there's like three places that pranks are. Prank YouTubers like love to go. It's Home Depot. It's the Grand. It's the park in the fucking what is the one in in New York? There's like a fountain in the center. Uh, Central Park? No, I don't know. It's by NYU. But that, oh oh, and then, like, Washington just, Square Park. Yes, and then yeah. like any mall. It's like and Wal Mo I was gonna say Walgreens, Walmart, too. dude. But that I mean that's why like it's like people just don't go shopping anymore because you're just trying to buy Top Gun too so your wife doesn't leave the family and then some <laughs> guy walks up to you and he's like, "Would you rather suck my cock or go to Quiznos for ninety days straight?" Dude, you're like what? This kiss or slap shit always slap. <laughs> yeah. Always slap. Kiss or slap. I wish it was punch or slap. But there, but there's some that, like, they're just getting so specific that I wonder, what are the man on the street questions going to be in, like, five years? They're running out of questions. Uh, excuse me, what is your blood type? Uh, uh, I, I B, think positive? I uh, think they're going to get, like, introspective. Like what? Like, when you die, what would your obituary be? I guess. I don't know. But, like, people want quick answers. That's why I like the blank or blank hits, because it's instant. Um, Yo, get sucked out by a lizard or fuck a Dodger dog. Dodger dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's it's quick. It's a quick answer. Dude, there was this one. I don't know if you've seen this girl. She keeps popping up my freaking feed. Uh, she's very attractive, but her voice is heinous, and she acts like a like an anime character. And so she'll walk. But is a voice on purpose? Because the anime characters kind of. I don't. I, maybe she's putting it all a bit, but I don't think so. But there's this one where she walks up to this dude. She goes, "Do you think I'm attractive?" And he goes, nope. <laughs> and then, I think I know what you're talking then, about. And then it's so funny. Dude, and then he goes, he goes, no, no, there's a lot of other people around here that are more attractive than you. She goes, what's wrong? He goes, oh, maybe your voice. He, he just said that? Dog, he just went at her, and she posted it. It was so well, funny. I, th I think they're all in, in on the joke. Um, there, was, there was one that I saw recently, a YouTube prank, where a dude uh, left like a, like a baby uh, carrier 
on top of his car. Did you see, oh, y'all see yeah, this? Oh, yeah, I saw that. And then drove away, and everyone was losing their fucking minds. Yeah, I know. Like, that kid does a bunch of shit. Like fu- funny, creative, funny. But, like, also, I don't know, man. I just, like, if I'm going to go, if I'm going to step out of my day to, like, quote, unquote, help somebody. Right. And then, I feel like an idiot. An idiot. And if I ran, I was like, yo, man, yo, yo. Yeah. And you think you're helping, and you lift it up, and it's just, like, a, it's just a bunch of, like, Fanta cans in there. You're like, you son of a bitch. Yeah. I'm busy. Also, get, it's like a boy cried wolf. Correct. Next time you see that, you're like, where's the cameras? Yeah, that's not a baby. That's, that's a guy. This just ain't nothing but a fucking Milky Way Midnight's in there. So good. Definitely a baby. Do you know that Instagram does fake check marks now? Verified? No. You can buy them? You don't know this? Oh, you can buy them. Yeah, you can yeah. buy them. Fourteen ninety nine a month. Apparently yeah. on the first day, they sold $44 million. Wait, 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 wait. This says Instagram sold 44 million blue check marks in one day. $15 oh a check. God. So that's, you know, I don't know if you want to do math, Please but do 44 math. million times 15 is like 660 million, I believe. A month, dog. That's a month. A month. But what's so fun, I mean, we, we shot a sketch of, of this in New York, putting it out tonight, but it's so, fun because now I like see people I went to high school with that just like got it. And I'm like, there it is. What is it? Did, okay, first of all, it is infuriating for me. I it, like I just got it. Right. Infuriating. Well, what's funny is you can check when people bought it. If you tap on somebody's verification badge, it says like, oh, about this account. And if it says March 2023, they bought that shit. But, so you'll be on the pass because people might be like, who is this bleach blonde bitch <laughs> title? <laughs> That rolls off the tongue. Somebody a book. Bleached blonde bitch. Fucking fucking triple B. Dude. Triple B. That's Big Baller brand. That's what you are. Big Baller brand. What are they doing? LeVar? What is he doing? Anyways, you can see, but it's um, yeah, it's 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 just it's just good. That's where society's at, where you're like, don't you want to feel something? Just have it be a different color, like you slightly, bitch. Slightly, slightly. Like just make it green. Yeah, Make but, it but, but, something. But, but, yeah. They wouldn't sell 44 million if they made it green. I know, but but like, do you do they think the 44 million people do they think that they're like that they're like uh, tricking everybody else? I think it just gets you like the eye is so used to going to a blue check mark and being valuable. But now I'm more skeptical. Now I see anybody. Yeah. I'm like, oh, Kevin Hart's verified now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but you can tap on it now that I know the trick that you can tap and see. I'll be checking people. I'm like one of those dudes in the mall with the fake diamond testers, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, you you got 24 carats. <laughs> Fraud. I'll be tapping on people's verification. I wish you could do that with tits. You can tell. Can you? If they're up at our cheekbones, fake. Well, yeah, but then you don't have to have one of those neck pillows for your, your fucking airplane trip. I had a girl ask me, she she had a rack. <laughs> you ever sleep on tits? I've seen it. I had a girl, she had a rack. Lovely lady. So cool. <laughs> no, she was. Tit it out. No, great lady. <laughs> I'm joking. Tit it out. Yeah. You know those like just in bed talks where it's just like you're both just like talking about like so Mars or Jupiter? Just dumb questions. Dumb shit. She's like boobs or ass? And I'm like You have to say tits. This is going to be a biased answer. And she goes no like give me your answer. Like what do you really like? And I was like ass. But I love you but you know I I like both. You know I'm a guy I'm a hot dog or a hamburger guy. I don't care. I'm just happy to be at the function. Yeah whatever's on the grill. (laughs) That's sort of what it is, right? But it's a trick question. Like, it, you, like, like, what would be the male equivalent? You're like, you're, you have a small dick, and you're like, yo, you like big dicks or small dicks? And she's like, um, you know, I kind of like smaller. It's more digestible. It's better for my appetite, you know? Well, dude, it's the same thing as when I'm like, oh, do you like a uh, tall... Well, I've actually never fucking asked that question before. What? Like, taller guys or shorter guys? I've, ne- I've never asked that question. Because it's like, of course we know the fucking answer. <laughs> shorter guys. Duh. We're the best. Correct. Yep. Yeah, great place to put a drink. Boing. Boing. A, you ever, I'll walk into a fucking tree and make cookies, bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I just picture, like, I, and you're not short. I think you really under, you like undersell yourself. But I just, like, picture you, like, in line at an amusement park and, like, a girl's holding you from behind and has her chin rested, <laughs> has her chin rested on you. I'm wearing her varsity jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Water polo. What were you saying? You had a thing. Uh, I had a girl tell me one time that I had uh, my dick was the perfect dick sucking size. Damn. Cinderella. Unless she's a snake, that wasn't good. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah. Listen, man, I'm telling you right now, women write in, but and this is not just like a oh we all have average dicks podcast, but like I would rather. I know this is crazy. Bear with me. I would rather have an average dick than a too big dick. 
having a too big dick, there's there are advantages. The whole like, yeah, look at that, and they go, whoa. Yeah, it's like having but a like, Hummer in a compact car space. You know, correct. Where are you gonna charge it? A Hummer. Yeah, the new ones have they're charged. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking H2. Oh. I'm thinking yeah. fucking Metal Militia, you know, one of those eight miles to the gallon. Yeah, like where like where are you going to go with that thing? Yeah. That's the problem. I'd rather have a fucking Ford Focus and it can park quicker. I mean, I mean a Ford Taurus. Yeah. You know? A Ford F-150. Hatchback. Dude, people be buying pickup trucks. People go to places and they go, I have a pickup truck, please. And they go, do you have a construction company? They go, no, I work well, at Quiznos. Anywhere but... Like a big city makes sense. Like why? I get it. What are you putting back there? Dead people? A personality. Okay. <laughs> There's something about having a truck where you're like, I am safe. Like, I am stable in life. How you feel about it? It's the same reason feel, dudes get big dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot Jesus in the room. <laughs> um, dude, how, how do I feel about? How do you feel about women? I love them. All right, that's it, guys. That's a podcast, man. No. Uh, how do you feel about women that have pickup trucks? Hot. I'll answer my own fucking question. Interesting. Oh, I love it. Dude, when I first moved here, I dated this girl uh, that had a, like, a fucking white like Toyota Tacoma or something. Wow. She would fucking drive to my apartment, beep, beep, come out. I mean, I, I would have to get a ladder to get into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was so hot. Give her roadhead. <laughs> <laughs> Is that real? Can you give a girl roadhead? Sure. Suck a clit at the red light? She would have to angle herself a little weird. Yeah, or you are just strapped onto her like a race car seatbelt. <laughs> you're just like over. Have you ever, is, have what, you what's like the hottest car? I, what were you saying? No, no, I was going to say, have you ever licked a clit? When Twice? When she's driving. No, never. Nah, I want to do it. What's that, that called? Fun. Clit? It is a weird angle. Clit traffic? Tit, tit traffic? I'll do it in the back of an Uber. That'd be fun. Bang bus? God, I can't really record the podcast on there. I mean, what the fuck? I want a fucking Uber driver while she's driving. Five stars, sure. <laughs> they call it Rotolingus. Rotolingus, Rotolingus is great. I was going to call it mud flaps, but might be a little more down and dirty. Rotolingus. What's like the hottest car a girl could pull up in and you're like, oh, God damn, all right. And uh, this is subjective to our opinions. This is a subjective to our opinions. And here's a wild one. I love... A Pontiac. Uh, yep. Pontiac Aztec. Yep. What are you No, uh... What are those little uh, VW? Not the bugs. They're like it begins with a Jetta? C. No, it begins with Celsius? a C. Celsius. Yep. Uh, can you look that Cleopatra? up? Cleopatra. Yep. Carhartt. Yep. A Jetta. Carmax. No, it's a camper. What is it? No, no, no. It's a. It has. It usually has a convertible top. It. It's a Volkswagen. Like it's like a priest. Like some shit. It's Celica. E Toyota. No. Tongue ring. It's either that or. Or uh, a, a 300, like a mini, mini, uh, I'm bombing. I just can't think of these fucking words. 300. 300? No. 300 the movie. This is Sparta. Gabe. I, dude, I'm trying. I don't see any. Well, uh, while you hold fucking on. Go, go. What, what's yours? What's yours? Google works. <laughs> what's yours? I honestly think this might be a basic bitch answer, but like a black Range Rover is like. No. What do you mean? Ew. Shut bro. up. Shut up. Bro. Bro. Tell like you're Joe Biden, bitch. What? That's <laughs> no, hot. What you, no, that's no, no, not, no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Why, right. is not, why is that not bad? That's hot. It's Pull not it up. Just fucking. <sighs> Like a that's the black. problem because it always comes with that. It always comes with this hot girl, definitely fake boobs. What do you want her that, to have? Like her dad's a fucking congressman. <laughs> a Ford Fiesta. What do but you? I want her to have well, some personality. She walks up there. She has all this. She's like, yeah, but world, that's a the, girl boss. The car. world is mine. I want a girl boss, but a girl boss who deserves it, not a girl boss who's just giving it to her because her dad's a fucking comptroller of Minnesota. That was a good sentence. Thank you. What? So what's the car <laughs> you would like? It's like a uh, like a. Early 1990s uh, Mercedes Benz that kind of looks like. Oh, uh, that's kind of hot. Yeah, and like an girl early Benz. has like has like kind of dice. They, yeah, they look like the Hot thing. Wheels. Yeah, kinda, it looks like you could like like maybe not power steering for sure. And smells like cigarettes. Oh yeah. Who? What was that? Uh, you know that show Love on Netflix? Yeah. That that car? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, what, what was the one you were talking about? The three with the C's. It's like three. Like um, what's that car? That's um. That has a Gucci version. Shut up. Uh, Fiat. 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 You want a biz with a Fiat? A biz with a Fiat. Okay. Like, like, kinda, like, like chalk color convertible. She turns like beep color. beep, and she's wearing like a 
uh, like a scarf put on her head. Yeah. She wore like big glasses and she's like, come on, let's go for a road what trip. Is this? And I give her fucking Rota Lingus while is, she fucking orders me a fish fillet. This is a rom com. <laughs> we didn't have this. Literally, Emily in Paris. That's a Netflix show. I like, know this. it's hot. Like that. I want a fucking wife, dude. I want a girl. That, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't want a girl. That. That's hot. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't but. Want, I don't want a girl that walks around. That comes with like personality, though. You know, like. That's what I mean. No, no, no. But like. But like that's a trait. That's somebody who rolls their own cigarettes. That's somebody Correct. you're about to put a condom on. And she goes, "I made your own condom." Good. Out of What'd a you made bag? Out of? I love it. Carhartt. God, I, w- I want to just walk in to her apartment. She has like tea going, and she's like, "Oh man, I'm reading this this new philosophy book. Do you want to you want to read it with me?" Yeah. You know what I mean? Then she's like, "Oh man, do you want to make some mores and just watch? Just maybe just pick something on HBO and just like sit there and just like really vibe." Yeah. 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 I want a homie, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking lonely. Dude, you're not lonely. It feels temporary. Love is out there. Love is blind. Love is what you make it. Love is a four letter word. It what is. What does that mean? Love is a four letter word. I don't know. It's the people that don't know how to spell love. Jack, what car would you like? A Vespa? Bird scooter? I like a girl with a. Um a little dent in the bumper. I don't care oh, what kind of gosh. car. Oh, gosh. She's right. got HPV. Like nah, yeah, she'll suck a mean one out of you. Oh, if yeah. If she shows up and the rims are fucking... Yeah. Looks like a magic bullet. Yeah. She'll <laughs> top you sideways. Well, dude, that's the thing. Your girl shows up in a car that has like three, three tires. <laughs> <laughs> Sparks. Sparks. That's somebody who might miss their birth control every four days. (laughs) Listen, dude. She will fucking, she will take your cock off and fuck it by herself. What's a car where you'd be too intimidating? Like you walk out and you're like, I don't think we can do this. A limousine. (laughs) (laughs) If she's driving it or if she's in the back. If she's driving. Dude. Well, okay. You know, like, okay. Obviously, I, I, I don't like play this game a lot, but like she's a 10, but she always drives a limousine. How annoying, living in Hollywood, yeah. she's like, hey, I can't find parking. And you're like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, first of all, I hate that question. I can't find parking. Go, okay, <laughs> look! Look! It's a new thing where I, I don't listen. All right, before I say this, I understand this is my fault. Just bear with me. So I don't have... Where I live, you have the, uh, permit parking. I have a permit because I live there. I don't have another fucking permit. I don't have another one. Sometimes women come over and they go, oh, where do I park? I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, everything, that, dude, everything's that's permanent. so annoying. Buddy, there was one time where a girl was like, I can't find a parking spot. And I was like, just park there. I will pay for the fucking ticket. Damn, you I were don't... horned up. No, I just You I must don't... have been horned <laughs> up. You must have. Dude, $72 ticket? I know. I know those Hollywood prices. I know. It was so just funny. Just park. I know. I was, I was horned up, but also, like, I there's certain things that I just, there's like friction for us to deal with it. And oh, I just don't want to yeah, deal yeah, yeah, with yeah. it. It does take all the horniness out of the air. Then, then I got to get in you her gotta car. You got to write down her fucking driver's license code. And, yeah. what is it? and then I have to like get in her car and like show where the parking is. And we have to like walk so back. You ever been, or what? there was one time actually where I, my old place is like maybe like a mile and a half away from my new place, right? So there was one time <clears throat> this girl was coming over. We couldn't find parking. So I go, all right, look, just go follow me. I got in my car. We drove a mile and a half down the road. She parked where my old place was because there's, no, there's no yeah because there's no permit. Then I drove back. At that point, I'm sweating. I'm upset. Oh, on the drive back, your balls are in the passenger seat. Like, let me out. 100. percent I've already came. Oh. What? Just because you found a parking spot? <laughs> you ever been so late for shows? And I know the answer is yes. Like you park so insane. You're like, I'll be pissed if I don't get a ticket. Oh yeah, I park on top of the fire hydrant. Dude, the comedy stores like the, the parking is. I mean, dude, I just. I'll park it just literally at the pink dot and I'll just like buy a pack of gum and be like, I gotta make a phone call. Then I leave there for an hour. Like I just like just park <laughs> wherever and I go like, honestly, what? Who's who's checking tickets at 9 30 p.m.? A lot. A lot of people. I've dude, I've left um I haven't well not shows, but I haven't like uh like events. I've not gone because I can't find a parking spot. Really? And they're like, oh valet. No. Twenty two dollars? Suck all of my dicks. I have multiple. Which is one. Okay. Nope. What is this? Man breaks penis. Speaking of penis, man breaks penis uh, performing world's most dangerous sex position. Which is what? What's the most dangerous sex position? This guy. Uh, this is a TikTok doctor that I think. Explains Dude, what it. happens when you when you're banging it out and then you and then you like come out too far and then you go back in and then you like and you course correct and you hit the bumpers? It's called an Allen wrench. But why is that? What you just you miscalculated? Yeah. And you just slam it. You literally have yeah, a car accident awkward. with your cock. It's always awkward. It turns out you okay. No, I'm not okay. I'm my crying. dick is in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> my dick looks like a roundabout. I'm not good. What is this? 
All right, so this is this the is position. The most God, I love that the world is just quoting TikTok. That's journalism now. And it can cause a 50% of penile fractures, the reverse cowgirl position. If there's any erratic thrusting oh. of the movements of the two parties are not in sync, it could lead to the male jabberwocky slipping out and being crushed by the female pubic bone. Despite being boneless, the male jabberwocky? Can break I hate this guy. fracture is actually a tear to the tunica oh. albuginea. Ah. This is actually a rubbery sheath of tissue fly. that allows the penis to enlarge in width and length during an erection. You've been warned, over-enthusiastic snoo-snoo could leave your pen 15 looking like an aubergine. So Why is a reverse... TikTok doctor doing comedy? You're jabberwocky? Well, I think he's just trying... This is his version of, like, Seg's TikTok version. He's just trying to come up with stuff to not get the video taken down. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. So, reverse cowgirl's most dangerous position? Yeah. Uh, because I guess in that position, it's the, that's the easiest way for you to accidentally slam into her actual pelvic bone. Oh. What's, where's the pelvic bone? On the front or the back? What? It's 360, my guy. What happened? <laughs> it's, that's a full radius bone. What do you mean? That's a full radius bone. Can you bring it up? I don't know what a pelt is. That a baby? Oh, that's a broken dick. That's a broken dick right there. Where? Ah! Where does it start? Where does it stop? Uh, so here's. It looks like this. It looks is like maybe a duck. Where the where this is where it shouldn't be bending, and it is. Yeah, but if dude, if I broke my dick, ugh, come on, dude, I'm waiting extra long in the waiting room afterwards. What? Oh, doc, yeah, me, yeah, broke it. Too much fucking. <laughs> Oh man, I can't. It can be caused by masturbation and even turning over in bed at an awkward angle. Whoa. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. You can break your dick masturbating? Yeah. How? And be specific. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Gosh darn it. I sure would love more stiff socks per week. One's not enough. Well, hello, hello, what's up? We have a freaking Patreon, okay? We get four extra episodes, drops every Friday. Yeah, but I don't think people understand. It's literally an hour of what we do, no ads, None. every Friday. It's For, And there's what? video and audio. Dude, I listen to it every because every, I fly a lot on Fridays. Yes, I, I listen to that bitch. And that shit funny because we talk about the stuff we can't talk about on the regular feed. Book. Listen, I would as who the fuck is calling me? San Juan Capistrano. Oh, do it. Hello. Speakerphone. The administration of energy. Suck my cock. It's Patreon, baby. Where can they find it? <laughs> you can go to patreon.com backslash stiffsockspod. And if you don't want to freak with the god darn Patreon people, you can go to Stiff Socks Plus on Apple. Stiff Socks Plus on Apple. Apple Podcast. You already have it. Dude, you got an iPhone? It's already on there. Just go to podcast and go to where you listen to us already on there. Yep. Up top, it'll say Stiff Socks Plus. SS plus sign. Boom. Press it, it. Scan your face. You get cancer. But you also get an extra freaking episode every Friday ad free. So go jump on that. It really helps us out. Support the podcast. Support your boys. We love you. On to the episode. God damn. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So a girl reverse calgary, she misses and it hits the pelvic bone. Can you bring up a, um, a map of the... I don't know what a pelvic bone is. It is funny. Sometimes if I'm getting, uh, dare I say, ridden and they're on top... I'm yeah. like, you are bouncing too high. There oh. is more bounce than there is dick. Well, this <laughs> this, this, this is, is not. Why are you, why are you going free willy? Why yeah. are you reaching up for air coming back down? Yeah, this Stay is in a, the pocket. This is not a bad Stay in the bro. pocket, Debra. This is what I always say to Debra. First of all, the pelvic bone looks like a fucking elephant. But. So is my cock. Does it? Yeah. It was the, the worst ears. elephant ever. Um. But the, I always say, one of my favorite positions is a girl's on top and she leans over and then she just grinds. Right. So she hits her G-spot and also the clitoris. She's putting the clitoris on my pelvic bone. Yeah. So she's using that pressure to get herself off. And I and love the Newton's position. that's Newton's Law. Exactly. Yeah, but this it was like up and I'm like, we're loot. Like, it's just yeah, so yeah. funny just well, to I see. Go, dude, I go with like, them. I get nervous. Gonna, are, you, are you riding a jet ski? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I get, I, I very, very, very get nervous. Of course. I, dude, I get nervous. The girl recently was like, I'm not good at on top. Just as she's getting on top. I'm not good at on top. Well, let's not do this then. You gotta learn somewhere. That's what I'm saying. Better help. Use me like a com. hobble horse. <laughs> Did she go on top? Yeah. She wasn't bad at all. Maybe he was downplaying it. Maybe I like, ah, so. I don't have a big dick. And then she's like, oh my God. You Under don't. promise, over deliver, my guys. That's the number one rule for everything. So this is like the opposite of the equestrian. Yes. The very, the complete opposite. Yeah. I can't believe that equestrian. Just like, you know, I'm a fucking equestrian. Oh yeah? Why do you suck at this thing? <laughs> what type of shit horses are you riding? Yeah, dude, that, you can't, yeah, that's why I don't like sex or like talk big game. I'm gonna you lay can't. it down. You can't. 
Do you remember are that girl? You? This was years ago. This girl literally was on top of me. She butted up on my dick and she goes, are you ready? Ready for what? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? World are we, we going to go into the metaverse? We're going to another stimulus check. What is happening? What is this? Are you ready? And then she puts it in and I go, yep, normal pussy. <laughs> Just a normal one with some wetness and some skin. Where's the pelvic bone? Don't know. I don't hit it. I got an average cock. It's, yes. Are you ready? It's get off me. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, if you flipped it, like if you said that to yeah. her, like if a girl listening right now is like, yeah, whatever, okay, maybe she's trying to blah blah blah, right? But if if a girl said it to, if a girl yes. had it said to her, she'd be like, that's hilarious. If yeah, you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say when I come. Where are we? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, it's time to get into some sock talk. Really? Yeah. Sock talk. It is that time. Do you? Do you? Um, we have a. Sometimes I get an email from a guy named Jeff Epstein, and I go, "You need to change that." Yeah. <laughs> Everyone needs to change that. But I think his way was ab- abbreviating <laughs> what to if, Jeff. What if Jeff Epstein changed it to Bill Cosby? <laughs> Great for search engine optimization. Um, search engine optimization. SEO. What's Google? What, why, how do you come you know what I heard Google? that blew my mind? Podcasts were started by Apple. It's pod comes from like AirPod, mm-hmm. iPod. Mm-hmm. Really? I just thought podcasts were podcast. No. Yeah, Ow. a podcast. They started it. They were the, the first ones. It's like, so it that's, on. that's partially true, yeah. Yeah. So the, they are the, the first, reason they I heard popular. it on a TikTok. It's true. Yeah. What, what were you saying? Um, well, no, just that, uh, like people what were, they were doing, before? Th- just like webcasts, people were doing Dumb. like that kind of shit beforehand. And like the technology was there. Yo, but, we should start a webcast. <laughs> but no what? one started listening to them until like Apple did call them podcasts and put an app on an iPod. Dude, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Pod. Yep. Is there any cool stuff you can get on the dark web? Probably. What? I'm serious. You can get anything on a dark web. I know, but you know what I mean? Like dark web. You can get an it. R2D2 fuck doll. Well, no, I'm in. But you know how, like, on the dark web, it's just, it's just a really bad connotation? But can you get, like, Funyuns for cheaper on the dark web? Do you know what I mean? I think you just do it on Amazon. Yeah, No, but, like, not. cheap, cheap. <laughs> but, like, do you understand the question? Yeah, Because yeah. dark web's like, oh, you can order kids and Ottomans. Okay, but also, what can you get? <laughs> a bike with three wheels. Or something. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I think it's, like, Wayfair-type beat. Yeah, I don't I don't think that there's any reason that, like, they would put it on what, there what, if they what's can't one put that, it on oh, the oh, oh, Maybe, like, Alibaba? Sense. Isn't that, like, the Amazon of, like, the world? Yeah. You, well, you can... What people do, which is crazy, and it's not crazy, but, I've already, like, I've already researched this, by the way. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they will, like, buy something that's big already mm-hmm. on Alibaba for, like, 10% of the price, mm-hmm. and then they put it on Amazon just flip it. Yeah, drop shipping. And, yeah, drop... Is that... Yeah. That's definitely drop shipping? That's what but I also call getting head. Drop ship this... Um, okay. Uh, but what also people do is, <laughs> hold up, I'm hard. Also what people do is they'll make TikToks about their, mm-hmm. their about their product. And they'll make 10 Amazon things, you know, all, all those people have affiliate links. Yeah. Every time you see an Amazon, it's like 10 Amazon products that you need to buy, right? They just have affiliate links. They're just making money. They're just promoting and nobody knows. Yeah. But like people will buy this shit on Alibaba and then they'll just resell it on Amazon from their link. Yeah. That they're doing. It's the whole is reason. Is Alibaba and Amazon, are they related? Is is Alibaba like Amazon's uncle? No, I don't think so. Uh, they're boys. Yeah. They um, might be actually beef. They might have, yeah. But that's the, the, the reason why like anytime, like when you try to Google a question or what's the best, the suggested search result is always the top one's usually going to be Reddit because you can't trust reviews of shit anymore because it's just, it's that shit. It's like, oh, this is the oh, best camera. And right. it's just like people saying, this is the one I can make the most off on, on like Amazon uh, affiliate link. You always have to go for oh, it. Oh, I didn't know that. I'd be I straight. didn't even think about that. I'd yeah. be buying. Dude, last air fryer I bought was because they're like, this is the best air fryer. Yeah. You looked up reviews of air fryers? <laughs> yeah, dog. <laughs> well, you know, you going to buy an air fryer willy-nilly? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it does literally what the name says, air fry. I know, but sometimes. How do you fuck that up? I'm sure you can buy one that's not good. Speaking of not good, dude, my fucking espresso machine, again, I had to goddamn clean it out. I'm heated. Get a new one. I have to. This one is fucking all over the place. So before we get into some other topics, how was your day off? Do you feel zened out? I, honestly, dude, I felt <clears throat> I felt really good. I was just I was just very proud of myself for for just giving myself a day. I yeah. felt so much better. I honestly, better, dude. after a long a lot of traveling, I would rather record on Tuesday because Monday you can like settle in a little bit instead yeah. of just. Dude, firing off. It was so nice, man. I gave myself an, another. I'm on a cold shower kick again. Did a little Wim Hof. God damn it. It was such a great day. Touch yourself? Did I touch? Yeah. 
Mm. I almost didn't want to. I, 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 awesome. Because then you go to sleep with these fucking weird images in your brain. I always think I can g- have a porn session and then watch like Netflix for 10 minutes or like a basketball game and it like no. cleans the images out of my brain. No. It doesn't. You got to just go to sleep. Just pull a plug on yourself. I know, but then you go to sleep with those images and I feel like it's such a bad, you have nightmares of fucking oversized labias. It's just weird. We jerk off the different stuff. <laughs> Do we? Nope. I think we jerk. You don't, you jerk off the <laughs> Dr. Seuss books? <laughs> no. Oh, all right. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> what else we got? We have a- uh, Who's Cindy Lou Who? I'm not saying Cindy Lou Who, but her mom or someone that looks like Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> What? <laughs> I I want to find you a Mrs. Potato Head of like... I'd beat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, could you imagine if Mr. Potato Head ever cheated? He's just like, that wasn't me. That's clearly me with a mustache. I don't have a mustache. Dude, I used to have this joke so fucking long ago. I was like, dude, I wish women had Mrs. Potato Head vaginas. So you could take it off and be like, oh, give me the girl from the T-Mobile and put it on her. How did the joke do? I mean, not good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it in front of the right crowd? It'll crush. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, Sock Talk. Yeah, Sock Talk. We have a submission here from uh, Samantha. And it says, uh, I got a wave of horniness after being on my period. So naturally, I whip out the vibrator and I go to town on my downtown, completely forgetting my dog was sleeping on the end of my bed. Okay. The, vi- the vibration, I guess, woke him up and he got scared and left the bed with a super judgmental look. Uh, <laughs> I still got my nut off, though. Dude, Gigi does that. Jeezy goes, ah, oh, come on, man. Then she goes to a little hush. But yeah, they, they know what's happening. Yeah. They know. They always know. I don't know how they know. Well, I'm glad the dog left. The dog's like, oh, shit, is this time? Yeah. I better get out of here. It is, yeah, it is a nice dog. Because yeah. the opposite What do you reaction, do with my leash? Take that off your neck. Hey, <laughs> that's my collar. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's, it would have been weird if the dog woke up and then just stared at you. It was like cold, cold eyes with the cold snout being like, you got time for this, but not not a walk around the block. Yeah, let me outside. Cock no block. Uh oh, man. I wish I, I want a vagina for one day. Just want to take a vibrator and just fucking just go to Vietnam War on my clit. Just see what that feels like. It's got to feel crazy. Yeah. Just. You know what's after that? Getting piped down. All right, so you're a woman right now. Who's the first guy you're choosing to pipe you down? Probably a man who lives alone in Hollywood, who has a dog and is recently single, and is eating Outback Steakhouse. Dude, that sounds like I'm hitting you up. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I would, I would just, I would literally go to just a piece of shit bar, like the bungalow, and I would just be like, "Where's a guy with a mustache?" And like, he's in his oh. middle of the mullet phase. Mustache? You have a type. <laughs> I would fuck who I want to be. I would, I would fuck a guy with like small little tattoos. Yep. Could be from Santa Monica, could be from Williamsburg. We don't really know. Yeah. I'd walk into a bar and be like, who used to play lacrosse? Oh, wow. And just get fucking piped down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never want to talk to him again. Yeah. I'm here like longer, blonde hair, chiseled, not fucking tan, like kind of pasty skin, but lays it down, like almost a ginger, but lays it down. What's the rest of the... <laughs> <laughs> That's the Zog Talk. We have a secret Zog now. We sure do. Uh, this says, I have to confess something. I hooked up with a guy at a bar in my college town because I was blacked out and I thought he looked like Trevor. Deadass, I was so drunk, I kept calling him Trevor Wallace <laughs> and I'm sure he was weirded out, but he went along with it, most likely to get his nut in. That's how horny dudes are. <laughs> a girl could call me Michael B. Jordan and I'm like, close enough. <laughs> I mean, that is hilarious. That is so... Well, but if a girl called you by the wrong name, that's definitely throwing you at but it. But if, right? if it's the wrong name, but like like so far, like if his name is Zach and you're Trevor Wallace, it's like so far. But if you're Michael and then and she calls you like Mikey, you're like ah, it's in the same realm. Yeah, if she if my name was like if she was like call me Mike all night and then she switches like Nick or some shit, like all right, it's like close enough. But I still would be like, hold on. Well, here's the thing. I think she is right though. Like I would care after I nutted. And then I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Don't I, call I, me Sammy. But like, it, was it in Dirty Talk? Like, was it like, oh, fuck me, Trevor Wallace? Yeah, that's that's hot. Damn, I just turned myself off. I know. It was pretty good, dude. <laughs> dude, the full name? The fuck full me, name Trevor doesn't do hot. anything for me. Nothing. Fuck Trevor me, Trevor. Wallace yeah, you're getting piped hot. out by a Geek Squad employee. <laughs> but fuck me, Trevor Wallace, you get piped down by a TikToker. 
But wa- Wallace is a strong. Dick Talker. Wallace is a strong name. Sure Trevor, is. no. But Wallace really carries a lot of weight. Thank God I name. didn't get my mom's maiden name. That name does not pipe. What is it? Rosenthal. Terrible. Terrible. Trevor Fucking Rosenthal up. is a pitcher, baseball pitcher. Is he? I think so. For who? I don't know. Trevor Wallace is a legend. Clip it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. Wow. I, I mean, I wonder if it was like, uh, like, I wonder how, was it like they met and they started ho- hooking up and said, you can't get your house. Or was it like middle of it? Like, give me that fucking meat rod. Trevor I, Wallace. I hope it was the second one. <laughs> I, don't, I it, hope it is. That's kind of tight though. She hooked up with someone based on, she was like, oh, I want to hook up with Trevor. Let me hook up with this like Walmart. Dude, Trevor that's, that's great for my ego. Yeah, it should be. Shout out to me. To you, dude. <clears throat> All, the, all you know? those hours of putting those videos together, all those hours of getting funny. Really Just so some off. random guy in Tulsa, Oklahoma can pipe it down. <laughs> yeah, first of all, fuck him. He owes you she a did. nut. Yeah. Give me the nut back. Damn. Has it, you think ever a dude's nut and then try to put it back in? 100%. Musket? Funny. 100%. Like he like came too quick and then like took the condom yep. and shot it back. <laughs> Dude, I had a dude. I had a girl say, "Hold oh, up!" I, I had a girl say, "Oh, I say thought, what? I, <laughs> say what?" I had a girl say, oh, "Oh, I thought you came already." Hey, I'm an adult. <laughs> I will pipe you down until the fucking until the goddamn cows come home. What is that? Where are the what, cows? Why does she think you came already? I'm not sure. I I don't know. How do hmm. you feel when a girl says, "Is everything okay during sex?" I've never had a girl ask me that. Really? Nope. Have you? What are you that? doing? Yeah. Right? Is everything okay? Like, I think I, like, what are you guys doing? Humming the Star Spangled <laughs> no, Banner? <they're, laughs> I was writing uh, haiku poems. And oh. I, was, I was in my journal. I was like, can somebody just hug me? No, I, I think I was just mid P-I-P-E, light pipe, medium rare pipe. Okay. And like, I don't know, maybe maybe I like stopped to like take a breath for a second. Oh, God, you're out of shape, huh? Stop to take a breath? Why do I want to come? You need a tonal, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I, I in my head, I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was just like pacing myself. Maybe I like, took a second. Like, is everything okay? And I was like, it made me question. I'm like, is everything okay? Am yeah, I okay? Yeah. You can't ask. That I can't question. get in my head. There can't be questions. You can't ask that question. And all of a sudden, you're 13 minutes later, you're on the phone with your therapist. Yeah. Fucking try, dude. Yeah, I've never had a girl ask me if I'm if I'm okay. Yeah, and it made me be like, wait, I thought everything was going fine. Am I okay? And I'm a guy. If I get on my head, I will get soft. I will, dude. Even if my like, if I get too warm, overheated, I just go soft. And my, it's like the iPhone when it's been sitting out in the sun at the pool. It just goes like overheating. Don't turn it. In. Goodbye. Yeah, if I get too so hot, funny. if I get too warm, I just get. I get on my head. I go. Am I too hot? Am I too soft? And then I just. Oh no. Really? Deflate. Yeah. And then it's like, what's happening? And then you start asking questions. Then my dick's just like. Yeah. The moment it's like a start- snail. It's just it's like, why are you asking so many questions? Oh no. That's what you. Yep. Need- There's been a lot of times where a, or a woman will be like, "Do you need to take a break?" And I sit in the corner. Doing what? Betterhelp.com. Uh, no, it's it's happened a few times, but it's just like, is everything okay? I'm like, I, 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 Jack, you ever had that? Yeah. See, yeah. you're is the there, weird one. Is everything okay? Three for one. Yeah. Like, what were you doing? Were you like I, playing I probably, catch I was by yourself? Spaced out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Filling out your bracket. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. You never had that happen? No. <laughs> I'm dude. This is gonna sound fucking. Uh, but I'm I'm crazy. I'm super in the moment. Like. When, when I meditated, I'm like, I would say like 8 out of 10 in the moment. When I'm fucking, I am 10 out of 10 in That's the That's what I moment. thought too. But usually I'm so in the moment, I'm like, all right, take a second just so I don't finish quick to <clears throat> gather my thoughts. Coming yeah, but, is a mindset. Yeah, but, uh, but, that, Gary v. but that's even in your, that's even a little bit out of the moment. Like I am like, this is going to sound, just all right, make, yeah, fun but, 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 me, make fun but, of me in a second. But like I am, I, I like, I feel very um, like, I'm like, we are like one when I'm fucking like we are like we have this symbiotic fucking relationship we start as two people we turn into one then I come go ahead but that's what I'm trying to get to because here's the thing I have I have in the beginning of the flight sometimes a little bit of turbulence but then the rest of the flight is good so once I get over that initial come quick hump I get out of my head then I'm chilling for a while. Like, I'm okay. good. I'm okay. trying to get to that. Okay. But in the beginning, sometimes you're like, oh, uh, what if I... So, and then I, like, take a breath, take a breath, and then I'm like, oh, we're good. I just got to get past a couple speed bumps, and then I'm in. <clears throat> that's why I can't smoke weed before I fuck. Because that, that's where my head good. goes. I'm full. No, uh, I'm like, I'm too... I'm disconnected. It makes me disconnected. Yeah, I always thought that question or DM would be funny. You want to come smoke with us after the show? No. 
Never. I'm <laughs> just sitting there high as fuck. Do you want to go to my room? No, I want to go to fucking 7-Eleven. Yeah, I don't know where your room is. Who are you? Who am I? I want to go to my parents. Questions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just never like think Am of, I adopted? I never think of we smoking weed and be like, time to be sexy. No. Time to think of weed, lock the door and open up Reddit. Fire it up. Have to, by myself. That's, um, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want me to smoke weed with you, that's fine. I'm not going to smoke with you. I'll take it and then smoke by myself. I would rather, I'd rather be high and jerk off than high and fuck. Of course, you don't, Someone think, I don't, you don't know. have to think about anything. God, like so dude, imagine like head. eating box high. You're like, I've been down here for too long. What does yeah. this taste like? What does she think about? What am I thinking what about? What is that? Yeah. It's like a squid. I'm out. Well, is that a podcast? Podcast, incredibly insightful. <clears throat> um, you know, there this, it is. This is a science podcast, like for real. I think people have to remember that. It's also called Stiff Socks. So if you ever listen to it and be like. Wow, these guys are, it's called Stiff Socks. It's a show about coming in a tube sock yep. and putting them back on. Does it always have to be office. a tube sock? No, it give me an ankle mm. sock. That's a condom. That's ankle a sock. Condom. Imagine getting piped down by a guy in ankle socks. It happens what's all worse? the time. What's, what's worse? Go ahead. You're a lady. A guy getting piped down in ankle socks, uh, those skinny, like acid washed blue jeans that have like the rips in the, in the, in the oh, knee, God, or okay. a guy with a man bun. It's all the same person. I know. Okay. It really is. Um, What's the worst? I think it's the rib jeans. Yeah, I think it's the ass work. Yeah. Because you gotta like take them off. You gotta like peel them off. Yeah. They don't really come I've, off. I've seen dudes with man buns that are hot as shit. You gotta peel them off like a Quest bar. Yeah. The yeah. man bun thing, it's, if you're jacked, it doesn't matter. You just look like Tarzan who like, I don't know, like maybe knows where the best mezcal in town is. Yeah, but if you work at a bookstore and you have a fucking uh, man bun. Bookstores are literally real. <laughs> People walk in and buy books. I do it all the time. They all rent right. them. Where's yeah, your that's library card? Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, library you know is crazy. This was a podcast. This was so fun. Hold up. I'm hard. Guys, that's it. Yeah. Enjoy the episode. We enjoy you. Um, forever and always. Peace, love, unity, respect. Live, laugh, love. If you're going to Coachella this weekend, be safe. How do you feel about if you walk in on a girl who's just live, laugh, love in her kitchen? Uh, I'm probably going to get some really bad head. Kitchen. Is fine. I think. I think it can go either way. If they have that in your, their room, I'll say this: if problem. she got a tapestry above her bed, you about to get some sloppy top. I don't like tapestry. Call the cafeteria. It's getting sloppy. I don't like that. What? What, what, is, what, what do you want her to have what, up there? What, what, what do yeah, we like, have? But, yeah, but you, what, the women you like to sleep with, you like shackles up there and she hangs from there and sleeps from that or not. 100%. I like to be like walking in and I'll be like, where's your bed? She goes, this is a coffin. I go, <laughs> fuck yeah. Well, all right, real, last thing. What, what, do you, what would you prefer her to have on the wall? You walk in, open wall, and you go, well, you know what you're missing there? Blank. Maybe I don't know what tapestry is. Maybe I'm just realizing. No, you do. It looks okay. like, uh, like a big giant kind of like Venice rug, Beach rug, vibe. Okay. Rub, rug. It's a good solution. It takes up a full wall. You don't got to decorate. Hold on. Is there like a rug on the wall? Well, you'll see. It's, that goes on the ground, bitch. No, you'll see. Oh. This is big college vibes. Okay. Oh, Maybe. oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got that oh, up yeah. there. About She's jerking me off with the patchouli oil. This is great. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what tapestry was. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's America, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that she is got one America. of those up on that. <laughs> You're going to be thir seeing through your third eye. The penis. A hundred percent. All right. Vote for Nolan Ryan. Guys, what? we're out. I don't know. Guys, uh, have a good night. That's it. We love you. Uh, tell a friend about this show and uh, support your boys. Go on Patreon or Stiff Socks Plus on Apple. Um, and that is it, guys. Till next mother freaking episode. Come see Trev and I on tour. We love you. Uh, bye.